my dreams may be futile, this you say, well, my. So my dreams may be futile, the corn bull keeps charging away. I think they can hear us and they probably can see us as well. Welcome back on the show today, Michael. I'm very happy to have you here. Hello. Good to uh, be here. <laughs> How are you doing today? Very well. Yeah, very good. It's been, a, it's been an interesting few weeks, definitely. Um, yeah. How, how does it feel now that uh, the, the first iteration of everything is live and people have started playing with it? It's really good. It's really good. We've been really kind of happy with how people have just understood it because before like you know when you would ask me like oh what is alien worlds and then i'd go off on this big rant about what it is with the mining and then the, the planets and everything and i feel like people just glazed over um but yeah I'm, I'm really happy that people have kind of just jumped on it and they've understood what the mining is all about and they're kind of starting to form their own cabals and their own little armies and everything is going on and yeah, yeah there, it's, there are a few really teams now, see. actually. That's fun. Uh, yeah. It's great. And we have someone in the chat that wants to kiss you right now. So I, I think that's okay. a, a positive, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. nice. We didn't get those comments a month ago. So that's, that's a positive. No, they were like, who's this guy ranting on about <laughs> DAOs and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And, and I was on a show yesterday and I tried to like explain how Alien Worlds was different and you can't really do that in, in an elevator pitch in like five seconds. It's very difficult. No, it's very hard. And I think that's why I've tried to kind of do it on layers and just say, like, OK, this is the mining game. And then when people get used to that and then they start asking questions, OK, what's the staking thing? And then you can kind of go a little bit into the, the governance. And then, you know, that in itself is going to be a whole, whole interesting ball game as well. So um, that would yeah. be interesting when we start to open that. Yeah, and, and I mean, the game has started, uh, the mining has started, teams have started to appear, and community-run competitions has already appeared, multiple of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's been really interesting to see is that people are kind of, you know, trying to attract everybody to mine on their land, and they're even giving away extra stuff. I saw um, 
the army were running this competition yesterday, I believe. I think it's actually still on. I think it may yeah, have just I th- finished. I think, so. I think uh, they, they were talking about it earlier today, so I think it's still on. Yeah, I, I, think, it, I think it actually just finished like an hour ago because they want me to produce this, the results for it. Um, so when I'm off this, I'll, I'll produce the results. So, yeah, so that was really cool to see. And um, EOS USA just yesterday announced some sort of uh, yeah. human burning <laughs> volcano burn uh, I, yeah. I, will go, I will digest that more today as well uh, so they're going to throw a load of abundant NFTs into the, the volcano which is really cool and interesting because these are the kind of things that we discuss as well like as a team we're like okay what can we do because you know we see all these abundant NFTs piling up and people aren't actually People aren't upset with them. People are quite cool to, to have so many. But then we start thinking, okay, what can we do with them? You know, because it actually costs RAM for us to have all of these NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in our best interest to burn as many as possible. Um, so yeah, one of the ideas we came up with was a like a volcano burning competition. So it's really cool to see other people kind of running with that and taking that pressure off of us. Yeah, and and I had a mining competition for forty hours, and oh, yeah. yeah, I was kind of amazed that I got over twelve thousand mines on my land during those forty hours. Uh, you had a very cool NFT, though. You you had a you know a horrors NFT, and yeah, um, did that's they, another thing that. that it, well, it, it, I was very lucky to get this this awesome NFT from the horror team, uh, and and I like. They gave me, they didn't tell me that I even had to give it out. They didn't tell me that I had to do anything with it. They they just gave it to me. And I decided, hey, how can I make it fun for people to acquire them? And why not use Alien Worlds? And I I had to start to collect the data and and everything. And that was a little bit more headache than I thought, because there are a lot of transactions to go through. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's, um, there's there's a lot of stuff going on chain. yeah. But I think that kind of thing we're definitely looking to do or we're looking to facilitate that as well for other people. So, you know, it's, it's definitely something people want to do. They want to encourage people to mine on their land and giving away NFTs just seems to be something that people really associate with and they really love to have. You know, even if you receive an abundant NFT, like a, one more shovel, people, it kind of, you know, gives them that hit that they love and they, they enjoy it. So if you have something which is... A little bit exclusive yeah um that they really love it so it's yeah and, and very well i agree with you there i think we have just started to see the the beginning of what, what will happen here uh, and a lot of things will come from it i mean uh the team that i work with we have collected over 1200 nfts that will be used <laughs> for this kind of thing uh we just have to iterate all the data and make the leaderboard clear and some automation script or this will take forever to send out and everything yeah, I mean, I have some scripts if you want. I've got the script for the the army competition, which shows how much people have mined on each particular land. Um, and if you or anyone else needs any kind of help with that kind of thing, let me know. Don't try to run through blocks manually. Cause no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> it's going to be very, very painful. You uh, need, when when you I need get the data, the I think there is like on average 5,000 transactions, well, 5,000 actions per hour to go through uh around that number plus minus uh, depending on when it is but that's a lot of data if you want to do that manually um no <laughs> yeah i think um that. i think some guys pulled the the stats yesterday um from uh, aloha nate pulled some scripts some stats and he was saying that we did about three hundred and fifty thousand mines in one 24-hour period so yeah it's 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 not the kind of thing that you can manually tally up anymore it needs to be run with a script yeah and and like when i go through that at first i was just started skipping and then hyperion has a limit of ten thousand transactions in one call and then i reached that and i had to change to the next type of iteration and the next thing i have to do is i think i need to start to use five minute or ten minute increments and just loop if loop through the entire day that way i think that will be the most efficient way um, yeah, that's what I was doing. You have to, you can't get everything in one go. Um, no, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's not advisable. You need to do it in, I was iterating um, 
like a hundred at a time or a thousand at a time. And then the last date I would then set to the first. So I would just paginate through everything. And that takes a while still, you know? Yeah, um, my, my script, I think the big one takes about 10 minutes to go through and that's two days. Yeah. Yeah, two or three days. Take, I, I normally, you know, if I'm counting the number of unique minds in the last 24 hours, I'll just set the script to run and then go do other stuff and then come back and it's finished. It's not. And, and this is kind of amazing. I mean, did, did you expect that, that there would be over 3000 unique accounts already? No, our internal, we, we were kind of like ballparking roughly a thousand after the main launch, not not 3000 during the beta launch, you know, because the beta is literally the beta. We were trying to just flesh out all the bugs. We wanted to announce it to a very small group of like our, our biggest supporters and just Telegram. If you look, we only actually announced one post. We made one post in the morning on Telegram. But everyone and else made we more. <laughs> yeah, we haven't told anyone the address. And some people come to us and they say, oh, I couldn't find your... I couldn't find your game. I, I tried on your website and we have to say, well, it wasn't on the website. We never published it because we're not, we're trying to keep the numbers down. We want to make sure that we fixed all the bugs. And there was definitely a lot of bugs which came up, which we would never have found during our testing. You know, we had a private test going on for yeah. some time before. Um, and these kind of bugs, they're kind of the larger scale bugs, which probably we wouldn't have ever found. Um, but there was about three or four which were the kind of like constantly coming up, and I think that we've we've got we've got on top of most of those now. So yeah, I, I think um, most of the things that I have noticed is gone for good and bad. I mean, uh, it was kind of fun to set other avatars as your avatar, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there, there was a bunch of things that I, I was part of the testing, and I like. You don't really test it the same way when you try to test something than when you actually use yeah. it. Yeah, when you're told to go and test something, you kind of go into this mode of just following a set path. Yeah. Whereas when we throw it out to the people, they kind of just type in random stuff and they do <laughs> weird things that we never expected. So, um, yeah. But yeah, we, we were pretty happy that, you know, there wasn't a thousand bugs which prevented everybody from running it. and you know, there was huge complaints. Everybody was very, very, very nice to us and understood yeah. that it was a beat And, and the only issue we have really had that is annoying is when the Atomic API start to lag because, I mean, <laughs> everything worked great there. They have a plan to scale it for a while. They have, a, they have pushed it forward because it hasn't really been needed. And suddenly you make 350,000 actions per day. And well, there's a lot of NFT movement and actions that they have to sort through. Uh, yeah, and we're doing stuff with our NFTs, which nobody's done before. So, or very few people, I think, uh, Uplift, like, uh, Uplift yeah. have been setting um, data on their But they only did it NFTs. once. Well, as far as yeah, they did it once per NFT, and it's on a very small scale, whereas we're updating uh, every tool that you mine with. Um, we're updating the last time that you mined using that tool on chain. So. Um, the Atomic guys, they, they never really saw that happening before. And the code which handled that was very inefficient. Yeah. So when they started to get like a thousand, you know, a thousand mines an hour times three tools, that's like 3000 an hour. Um, it was putting a strain on their writing capability. Yeah. Which then slowed down. And and not writing became... as in in writing code, but as in writing, like taking the information and writing it into the the database. Uh, yeah. So they take information from the blockchain, which is streaming in at a constant rate. They write it to their database, and then from there they read it when we request, like yeah. who owns this asset. And and, and that is why the Atomic Hub was lagging the other day during the horror release and why we had to wait for 15 yeah. minutes. It, it, nothing was broken. It was just not fast enough to keep up with it. Yeah. And we, we kind of noticed there were some issues which started to happen like Friday, Saturday. I don't know if you noticed, but some people were reporting that they just start the game and then it would tell them they didn't have any shovels. Yeah. And that's the first thing we give people a shovel and then we read the blockchain <laughs> to see that they have a shovel, but this was slightly delayed. 
Of course, it happened so it during was... during my like I made a video to record how everything works, and and during that time we had the, oh, okay. like the first iteration of that as well. Yeah, so these things yeah. started to happen a day or two before, and I remember thinking hmm, this this might go badly, <laughs> um, and then the horrors launch, which was really successful, was just like the nail in the, the yeah. coffin. Really, that, yeah. that just I think pushed them over the edge. So. Yeah, so they're, they're going to fix it. They're on it. So exactly, um, they are working on it, and and they are working hard because it's their product, it's their baby. They want this to to work and be successful. Um, they they are just a little yeah, bit more I stressed think, on time. <laughs> I think we we added a little bit of stress to their lives, definitely. Um, yeah. But yeah, they'll get there, and it's all part of building these kind of systems. You know, we, we kind of like flip the switch and then suddenly everything goes bang and we didn't realize what happened and we go away we fix it it's like there was a one release where we started using a different api on the atomic assets and they had rate limited that api so i tested it it was working fine for me and then i released it and suddenly everybody's like oh my god it's not working so i had to pull that release back and then speak to the guys and then they were like oh yeah we'll fix that and then push the release out again so that's why we call it beta, you know, it's, yeah, it's all yeah. just, uh, and, and during that out. time, well, it, it was like an hour or something. It was not that long. Uh, it wasn't even an hour. I think it was less time, but like everyone was screaming in the chat. So there was a lot of active users that couldn't use the game as they wanted and they want their NFTs. Uh, they want the Trillium. <laughs> yeah. That was another time that was, uh, when. I think the entire API went down for some yeah. reason or it was delayed again and nobody could mine. And then I was watching the pots just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and everybody was complaining and, ah, uh, yeah. And then, then, then some complaint. guys actually managed in, in the interface to get some transactions through and I, I don't know, yeah. Uh, so they were starting to send screenshots in the chat of 700 trillion from a mine compared to like 30 when you get to an... The people yeah playing. some people did pretty well during that time yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay so uh you're also up on that that ra radar 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 uh, yeah so we uh well, pretty soon after we launched the game we registered on dap radar so we could go up there and then um pretty quickly we managed to get to the number four game of all blockchains uh which was really cool and you have We're kept the list. number one yeah, we've stayed. I mean, there's a good buffer between us and number five, and there's a decent buffer to number three as well. So I think we'll stay in that position for a, for a few weeks, definitely. Um, but to be the number four four game after only a couple of weeks of launch is is really uh, encouraging for us. Um, we're the number one app on Wax. We're the number one game on Wax. Uh, we have more unique users on Wax than all the other games on Wax put together. Yeah, um, which is yeah, a cool the, 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 um, that, that's very nice, actually. Yeah, so yeah, it's just been really, really good to see that you know people are playing and that you know to have such quick feedback is is really interesting as well. You know, we we never imagined that it would get to this you know everybody says that but we really didn't we thought this would be a small scale beta release just our hardcore fans you know tell us what's wrong it'd be all yeah, very, that, that very was probably true the chilled. first half of day <laughs> the first hour i think yeah. <laughs> probably, and then i don't know somebody told everybody else and yeah we, we actually have a suggestion in the chat as well and i think what he tries to describe is have having a way to set some kind of favorite land uh in the map so you have like a some kind of preset like a drop down list or whatever uh would yeah that be something um, that you have on your to-do list or similar it's definitely we're, we're listening to everything that's happening all the chatter and all the requests and everything and we're watching people use the game and we're we're definitely filling out requests and this is one of the things that i think it's one of the worst things about the game is finding the piece of land that you want so a lot of people have been giving out coordinates and said oh go find us on this thing so you have to kind of like move yeah. your mouse through it and we would like to have 
you know, the ability to link to a particular piece of land so that you can throw out a link and say, click here to mine, and then it would set it as their land. And um, yeah, we're, we're looking at the whole user interface at the moment. We've got a, we've just kind of taken on board a new UX designer, um, and he's going to have a good look at these kind of things. Like, and setting the land is probably priority number one. No, very nice, very nice. Um... So talking about updates in, in the user interface and is there anything else that you have planned in the coming, well, the near future? Um, so next thing, the most requested feature is the shining feature. Um, and so that's the, like the shining, the movie, or what is the shining? <laughs> so this is the ability to take, um, you take four of a particular NFT and then you can upgrade its shine level to uh, gold, stardust, or antimatter. So it's not changing the rarity of the item. So if you have an abundant item, you'll always have an abundant item, but it will be a gold. And, and rarity item. is probably the, the wrong word there because you will get the more rare item. Uh, it's just doesn't, it will be more rare. It, yeah. do, it won't go from common to uncommon or common to rare in this case, but it will go to yeah. common stone to common gold. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that changes the image a little bit. So we've got some really cool new images. All the stone ones, if you noticed, they're all static images. Um, we've got the X dimension, which is kind of like a special shine level, which came from another dimension. Um, that is not shinable. The, the X dimensions are just in their own class altogether. Um, but within the standard, uh, Within the standard shining rankings, there's gold, stardust, and antimatter. Um, and yeah, it's. I think we can, we must get about ten requests every day of when when <laughs> is the shining coming. Um, so and when it is requires it coming? Some, when is it coming? Why? Well, I, I can give you a date. Do you want a date? Yes. I can give you a, a date, date with right you. I, I will always say yes. So, so it's not this Monday. It's the following Monday. So two Which weeks. I believe is the 24th. It's not even two weeks, it's 10 days. No, it's less than 20. Uh, what do we the 25th. 25th is what we're aiming for. Um, we said we would give a week's notice to everybody, and this is a little bit more than a week. So we'll probably, this is unofficial, don't tell anyone. Okay? <laughs> um, so unofficially, we're aiming for that date. We have, we have all the images ready. Uh, we have the smart contract code ready. We have the UI ready. We have the videos for what happens when it starts up because you have to have a video, right? That's yeah, you need to have some adrenaline pump. It's very important. Exactly. That's, you know, it's a, it's a huge part of it. So um, everything's ready. We just need to make sure we've uploaded all the images to the IPFS. Then we have to create the templates, run a few tests, um, and we're good to go. So. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to hit the 25th. Um, it's not set in stone yet, and it's not official. <laughs> we will we will put out uh, an official post soon about, you know, giving up, because we said we'd give a week's notice so that people yeah. can unstake their Trillium. Um, how, how much so, Trillium yeah. will it take to, uh, to upgrade? Do you have that, that in your mind? We have it in the, it's in the post. The, if you go to our medium and you look at the, uh, the, the shining post, I'm, it's, it ranges from 500 to, I think, 32,000. So to take a mythical to antimatter costs 32,000 uh, trillion, but no one's going to do that, right? <laughs> I think. If, if we see an antimatter mythical, I'd be very, very surprised. Uh, yeah, that, if that we ever be, see one, that that to be will honest. be tough, very tough. Uh, it's going to be hard to get sixty-four mythicals. I don't think they even exist at the moment. But they <laughs> say in the future they do. It's it's still going to be very hard to get them together. So, I'm I'm trying to find that article and I can't right now. I guess I will try to find it later uh, and I can link it to. I will add it to the description uh, after so people can find it. Um, yeah, so there's a image there which kind of shows the grid of how you can upgrade and uh, abundant items can only go to gold level. So you can't make an abundant antimatter. They can only and go to gold level. And common as well, right? 
common will only go to stardust level okay. so it won't go all the way um everything else can go all the way to antimatter um but it gets progressively more expensive in terms of the number of nfts and the amount of trillion so yeah everyone needs to kind of think now what you want to upgrade i've got some ideas in my head um Oh, and it's it's only the tools, and I believe the avatars which we're releasing immediately because those are the ones that are being used. So, weapons and minions, we'll wait until we've got all those images. Yeah, uh, so that that will come out a bit later. Very nice, very nice. Um, I think Pramod just wanted to share the link, but I think he was unable to do that in the chat. So if he has sent it to me in a DM, I can add it in the in the live chat. For some reason, YouTube doesn't like links. Uh, I have added that you can share it, but it doesn't work anyways. Uh, I don't know why. Probably my, sharing? Probably my issue. He will be sharing the shining table for everyone. Uh, oh, so, okay. Uh, cool. Pramod, just drop it in a DM to me and also drop it... Uh, yeah, I got it now from Neo Kant, the guy that won one of the, <laughs> the nice ones. So I dropped it here. So now, now you got the table. Everyone can watch it uh, afterwards. But okay, so the sh the shining will be an event that is happening from the twenty fifth, likely. <laughs> likely twenty fifth, yeah. Um, yeah. And it will. It's not an event. It will go on forever. That you'll always be able to shine. Well, the first uh, days will be items. an event for sure. <laughs> A lot yeah. of people will yeah, do it. Yeah, it'll be so. interesting to see. Because obviously you don't want to go for something that everybody's going to shine. Yeah. Because if you're when first, you shine something, you get the first mint of that item, the the new item. So, uh, yeah, you you probably want to pick something which not everybody's going to shine, um, and maybe a bit sneaky about it. Try to find something now that nobody else is is using and nobody else likes. Yeah. Um, and then maybe go for for antimatter. It'd be good to see the first person run for an antimatter. Yeah, I know. I know someone has to. Uh, well, I know two people that have said that they are going for it, but we will see. Uh, it will require a lot of. I don't think they actually things. got sixty-four, though. I think there's a couple of people who are definitely aiming for it, but I'm not sure that they ever actually re reached sixty-four yet. So. Yeah, Storm wanna do it with his legendary uh, Storm Giant, and that will be uh, that will be a challenge. <laughs> To antimatter level. Yeah, I think well, so. And yeah, then I don't I don't think that will be in the near future. No. Uh, he can definitely get gold, I think, and probably even get two or three golds. Um, and, and currently what people are using is the tools. They're using it to mining. So we have weapons and we have minions. Uh, when can we uh, start to use them? Do we have any roadmap for that? Um, so, yeah, we have this Thunderdome game which is another one of the games which is coming out later on um and we've been doing a lot of thinking about this we've actually we already had uh, a thunderdome game code ready we did all the smart contracts for it um but we decided that that's not actually the kind of thing that we want to go down it was originally like a um player versus player one-on-one -on -one card game where almost like very much similar to Splinterlands or Dark Country or um, I guess even like a COG style game. Um, and we decided that there's, there's a few problems with this, particularly with the number of players that we have. Like there aren't that many players around and quite often you can spend a lot of time just waiting for people to join. Um, so we've, we've kind of scrapped that plan um, and what we're looking at now is this kind of mass brawl kind of game whereby you can go along at any time and you can throw your minions in. You have to equip them with a single weapon. Um, and there's a, I think there's an entrance fee per minion. Um, and then you basically throw them into this ring. And then at a certain time, the fights will happen. And... It will all happen kind of asynchronously, so you won't have to sit there and wait for a, a fight to take place. Um, so yeah, we, we have a kind of idea for that, or Rob does. He is still mostly in his head. He, I asked him yesterday to tell me as much as possible. Um, <laughs> and he's writing up a post which we're going to share with the community, and we're going to take some feedback on that. We're, we're 
really happy to kind of listen to what people say about this. Um, and yeah, so that's that's kind of what we're thinking now. It's going to be this mass brawl kind of thing with hundreds of fights taking place. Um, you'll be able to send in minions with uh, commands. So you'll be able to instruct them that go for the biggest guy on the board, go for the, the strongest player here. So submitting, so somebody who submits like a mythical uh, tool, a weapon along with like a really badass minion is probably going to get taken down because there's going to be people throwing in all of their abundant guys would there be some kind of benefit of taking down a bigger guy compared to a smaller guy well if you win the end then you win some trillion so um you want to take down everybody in the entire game um i'm not sure entirely how that will work but there's definitely a uh prize for winning the overall brawl um yeah. and we're, we're also looking to make it Kind of fair obviously if you have better tools and better minions and shined minions and everything you, you stand a higher chance of winning of course um but also we want to make it so that the little guy can win as well you have a uh, it's ghost in your house <laughs> attacking or something uh it was probably one of the minions that was upset <laughs> yeah he was upset it's one of the uh abundant guys they're everywhere you know um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then so another thing which we're doing with this is that it's not going to happen on chain, which normally is bad. Like normally people say, oh, that's terrible because you can cheat. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to request, well, all of the entrants will be on chain. So when you throw your minions in, obviously that will be recorded on chain. So everybody knows who's in the game. Then the random number generator will happen on chain. So that will be recorded and shown to everybody. And then the procedure that we use to decide who wins will also be public and well known as well. So anyone can technically take that random number, follow through all the steps to see what would happen and arrive at the same result that we did. So it's not going to happen on chain because there's there's just way too many fights and calculations that need to go on yeah. um to to ever work on chain we've got you know three 30 milliseconds per transaction so we would yeah have to be you firing. had to change the the smart contracts when the mining started with a lot of people because you were using up way too much ram way too quick on on the wax block <laughs> we're still using a lot of ram yeah um yeah, it, it uses a fair amount. It's not so bad, but it, it needs to be topped up every now and again, let's say. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's not going to be on chain, but everything will be reproducible and everybody can see that it happened, it was fair and that we didn't, you know, make our own minions win. Um, and then the next thing that we're doing is we again will be using the setting of data on NFTs. So when your minion fights, if he loses or if he wins, his health will be affected. So there's possible that you can have kind of dead minions uh, who won't be dead. They just will have zero energy. If anyone um, played Pokemon, it would be the same thing. <laughs> you will have to recover. I didn't, but yeah. You, you need to go to a hospital and recover your Pokemon uh, if they are damaged from a fight. Okay, yeah. So yeah. we will have something very similar. Um, you will have to pay some trillium to recover your minions and their weapons as well. The weapons will get blunted or used or whatever the term is that we use. Um, so it will be recorded on the NFT. So, you know, some NFTs are going to have health, some are not, not going to have health. So you need to be aware about which, which ones you're trading or whatever that you, you don't trade something with a lot of health to something with no health because you're going to have to pay to <laughs> so you, um, you might actually find damaged ones for a discount yeah in theory the damaged ones would go for the same as uh undamaged one minus whatever uh 
but but theory is seldom yes. the the reality but okay so this healing process how will that work we talked before that you can probably put up a hospital on your land and things like that is that how it will work yeah we're definitely going to bring the landowners into this so that they can set up hospitals and um they would take a large percentage of the fee and the rest would come to the federation and most likely be burnt um any trillion which the federation earns we're we're pretty much burning we're we're not keeping on to anything that we earn so all of the shining trillium is immediately burnt um all of the uh fees for recovering minions is going to be burnt this is um, a very important aspect for anyone interested <clears throat> in, in this metaverse yeah it's it's a deflationary method we're, we're trying to to take out as much of the economy as we can um and yeah so it's it's something it's not in the near-term roadmap but it is definitely on our landowners roadmap is that they will be able to set up these kind of facilities which they can then uh attract people to so you could set up the cabal hospital and only the cabal members can come <laughs> there or maybe they get a discount when they come there it's, it's yeah exactly not yeah like i say it's not on our immediate it's not going to happen tomorrow but it is definitely something which we're planning for for landowners to be able to do at some point yeah but would be very cool to be able to set like a flag or a badge on your land in the user interface so people can uh like announce their land in in the user interface so it's easier for people to find it because what we will do with yeah. the cabal is that anyone mining on our land that also has trillium staked to the planet Kavian, they will also have a chance of getting an nft every two hours so we will send out one nft to one of the miners on on our land if you have also staked to Kavian. so that that's uh, our little plot that is going live in probably within a week that's really good to see it's um it's something that we have planned as well i don't know if you saw the announcement for which one was it the one we did recently where oh when we announced that the horrors were uh being part of mining we also kind of mentioned at the bottom that we're going to allow landowners to kind of seed their land with specific nfts and then that would be given out automatically so you guys are doing the same kind of thing which we're going to facilitate but you're kind of like a little bit ahead which is good to see because uh when we release it we're going to make it so that it doesn't have a user interface but we will be able to help people with it so that then we're going to take the feedback of what we need to incorporate into the um into the ui and obviously staking as well as mining seems to be one of those things that people want to see yeah and and Currently, there is no great way to get all the stakeholders of a planet. Uh, yeah, all these things are a little bit hidden at the moment. You can probably yeah, find it. The, the main know, code is not it's... really made for the purpose that we want to use it for, but it is possible, but it, it's, it just takes a little bit extra time. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, everything's a little bit manual at the moment. And um, I think that's good because people are actually kind of pushing it pushing the limits but it's not like it's us who is having to say oh by the way you can do this and this and it's like other people are saying we want to do this we know we can do it it's just going to take us time yeah. and then later on we're gonna add features to make that much easier for people and that is very nice so, so you will do that in some kind of interface where you can it, where you can load your land with uh, nfts and and such yeah so you can say at the moment the plan is that you can say my land or my individual pieces of land will all have these probabilities you could loan one nft which is rarer than the other one and say there's a one percent chance of this one and a ten percent chance of this one for example um you can also share it to other landowners as well so you can permit them to also offer the same thing on their land um those are the kind of features we're looking at at the moment um hopefully relatively soon we will have those kind of features because it's again something that people are asking us quite regularly not quite daily like the shining <laughs> but it is it is definitely something that people are asking for because you know at the moment land is all pretty much the same it doesn't matter so much apart from 
uh, the commission. It doesn't really matter so much which one you choose. Um, but in the future, th there's going to be a lot more differentiation between between the different pieces of land. Yeah. Um, maybe the Cabal land will be the best, who knows? Uh, it maybe is the, the best. army land. <laughs> well, I don't know. I quite like the army style. They're very, very good at the promoting. Yeah, I love the 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 meme they made to make fun of of the cabal. I, I love those. It's awesome. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's I... it's great. Uh, it's uh, it's that meme when someone suggests something and then gets thrown out of the window, and he suggested to go mine on the cabal land, and then they just throw him out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, it's kind of fun. Uh, but so so okay. We will see the, the shining that will come very soon. We also have some some changes and help to make your land more special that is also on the way. Uh, Dap Raider is ranking this as one of the top games currently in all the blockchain space. And you have you are doing a lot of AMAs. Uh, like Yeah. If you it's... if you're in the Telegram chat, almost daily there is someone random coming in and saying, "Admin, uh, you have a DM. Talk to me." <laughs> oh yeah, we've seen hundreds of these people. Uh, who can I talk to about AMAs and that kind of thing? And it yeah. seems like AMA yeah. is the is the new way that crypto projects promote themselves. So um, we we we're, we're doing those, and we're doing a lot. Um, an awful lot. We have a huge calendar. In fact, we we've, we've just taken on board somebody who's whose pretty much only job is to arrange the calendar for the uh, AMAs and to arrange them and make sure that they're all set up properly. Um, I think we've got one later on today. We had one yesterday. Um, it's it's a lot, and it's like we're bringing in like we asked uh, Morty, can he do some by himself? Because like we just we just don't have time. We don't have enough people to handle all of these and um from now until i guess end of february march time we're really like we're just doing hundreds and hundreds of amas to just get the word out to all these different communities because they're yeah. all they're all like little communities all on their own and they don't necessarily even know about wax they don't know about our project for sure so um it's just a lot of education and it's all kind of for people who are already into wax and already into um, alien worlds, it's not necessarily anything too new. It's a lot of the same questions that are getting asked and answered. Um, but it's really good. It's just introducing uh, us to new people, and loads of them are coming back and saying, you know, we love the using wax as the the second layer, and we love the fact that the wax cloud wallet allows you to sign up without any kind of keys or downloads or anything like that you know it's it's really unique in the industry there's there's very few other yeah it's projects super which easy allow to, you use. to do that yeah i mean you know we can play now and wax cloud while it's down again and these kind of things but you know ultimately it's a really good system and people love it and it really helps to onboard these people because even if they're into blockchain it's just very easy for them to just click click start the game you know so. yeah there's not as much need of explanation as it is if you're going to use metamask or whatever other wallet you want to use you need you need to start yeah, I mean, by educating we, and it doesn't work yeah i mean if we were running on ethereum for example or any kind of feed blockchain um the first thing you do is download the wallet then create your keys then then you have to go to a exchange you need to go and actually buy some of that currency and you then you have to decide well, how much do I need? Like how much am I gonna play this game? Yeah. How much is per transaction? So it's very hard. So Ethereum you'd have to go out and buy at least fifty dollars worth, I would say. You probably can't buy too much less than that. So it's a it's a huge barrier to entry to get people in, whereas with us you don't need any wax. Um you do if you we've seen a lot of people I don't know. They're just mining an awful lot, and they're hitting their CPU limits. Yeah, um, I, I which saw is some fine. of them for my mining competition. There were some numbers that were uh, 
they were a bit high <laughs> <laughs> like over two, yes. over 200 mines uh, over uh, 40 hours that's a lot of uh, type of is that what it takes it takes about 150 mines a day to to hit your cpu limit uh, probably so I don't it's know. a lot. I, yeah, there is a lot know. of mines, and and personally, I just take ten wax, and you, you you can do whatever you want. Yeah, five. We're we're telling people five to ten wax is more than enough to stake to just keep going as much as you want. But if they don't want to stake any more wax, or they don't have any wax, then it's fine. They just wait and. The use use the longer charge tool and everything is fine as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, you need you need to go pretty hard to reach that limit, uh, anyways. Uh, and if you stake something, yeah. if anyone doesn't know what that means, it means that you lock up your tokens as f to get uh, resources and you can unstake those whenever you want. It takes 72 hours until you get your tokens back, but you will get 100% of your tokens back. So it, it yeah. costs and nothing, it's talking... just a stake. We're, we're talking 5 to 10 wax, which is what, like 20 cents? It's, it's nothing, you know. It's I mean, you can go mine, cents. you can it's... you can find some uh, NFTs, and, and then, then you, that is sold by itself. Um, yeah. So, but the limits have to be there, which is it's nice that people just can't go crazy, but there's plenty for them to, to get going with. And, and currently, landowners get the trillium once per week. Uh, when can we expect that to be automated, and how will that process work? Um, it's not initially what we're looking to do. Uh, I'm going to keep doing it manually once a week ish. Um, time sometimes people remind me it's like where's our land money give me all my land money so i'll have to go and run the script um eventually we're looking to make it so that they would claim daily um and this is where the differentiation between the lands starts to come in so if they've upgraded their lands they'll get more um we're looking to make it probably that if you don't claim you lose it um and then that possibly would be burnt as well um yeah it's it's not immediately on our horizon to to automate this we're quite happy to send out the payments and i guess the landowners are quite happy to re receive it automatically um, yeah we, so. we have some people in the chat that, that says that they are very happy to get that shank once per week uh, it's nice i'm a landowner as well so i receive yeah i receive a nice yeah you, you actually have a, have a nice shank you, ha you have double as, as much land as i do uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, on on Four your numbers. account, that is kind of well. It's very easy to figure out that is you. Uh, there is one account that's definitely me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's very nice. Uh, and and like one the the top landowner, he gets a nice shank over. I think it's around one hundred forty thousand trillion. Uh, the last release or something like that. It's crazy. Nice. And he's yeah. he's part of your cabal as well, isn't he? I believe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're 180 lands. I mean, that that's a, it's a lot of them. I know he's gone crazy buying, but you know he's done well. That you know, I think when we did the land sale, I think actually the, the land went for very good prices. You know, I know that you were hoping to go lower. Yes, because <laughs> I wanted more. <laughs> I know you got wrecked, but I think I think it, it went for a good price, and I like that people like him have been rewarded. You yeah. know, they they. They they took the risk early on and they they've definitely seen the fruits of their labor and now he's yeah he's a he's a pretty high end landowner I think he's well above everybody else right yeah 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 he's way above everyone I got a table up for it I can I can go and look what the second guy is the second guy has one hundred forty four and then there's 123 that guy is also in the cabal and then we have 85 also in the cabal so yeah we, we are we are doing well there with the top people uh they are they are for sure here contributing uh so okay and, and the other part that we ha we haven't really discussed yet is the planet uh, I, I guess we should say takeover or the planet voting <laughs> the planet staking how, how does that actually work yeah. when will it work when can we vote for people uh, yeah. So yeah, one of our one of my main goals at the moment, or on my kind of like my short list, is to allow for people to register as a candidate. 
Um, because I think that's going to be really interesting when people start actually throwing their names in the ring and saying, look, I'm going to stand on this particular planet. And then um, you'll be able to fill out a little profile which says, I guess, what you plan to do and why people should vote for you. And um, that's going to be the first stage. Obviously, we need to have uh, a list of people to vote for before we start to enable voting. Um, and then shortly after that which we need the the ux designer for we need to think about the ux for how this is going to work because it's quite a complex system to to run a planet um then we'll start to think about the voting um but the first stage definitely is to uh, allow people to to register as a candidate and that's going to be that's going to be very very soon we're, we're going to allow that to to let people go and um, say which planet they're looking to to register for um then once we have the voting going we want as much voting as possible per planet we we're very cautious at this stage you know it's it's, yeah. it's not straightforward to release these planets to the to the voters because if you have a planet like i think Veli's is quite low in terms of stakers yeah um You'll see also that actually the planets are receiving tokens now. So if you look on blocks, if you look on like um, uh, dot world, if you look at that account, you will see that they own Trillium already. I don't know what the order is. I think is. it's 800,000 or something. It's a lot. Yeah. So it's a decent amount of Trillium, which is owned by that planet, and that will be owned by whoever's elected. So we don't want a situation where the amount that the planet owns is way more than is being staked because you could stake, like say I could stake 80,000 trillion, take over Kavian, then I own 80, yeah. uh, 800,000. So um, there, there's definitely a balancing act between how much is staked and how much is at risk, so to speak. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, I, I mean, Kavian has over 5 million trillion staked and Ajiki has 1.6 million staked. And, and I mean, uh, yeah, the numbers are pretty good. We're, we're quite impressed. Yeah. Yeah. But if someone doesn't vote with their trillion, perhaps you can even get elected by a, just a tiny fraction of that. And and someone in the chat yeah. actually said, if, if Kabbalah owns most land, can they not just take over everything? And no, they can, we, we can because we need trillion. We need to vote for everyone. And with one pot of trillium, you can vote for two people, and there's five seats in a planet. Yeah. Um, so you can't take over an entire planet with one large account. You would have to split that account into two. So it kind of automatically halves the amount of power that you have. Um, yeah, we, we, we need to be very careful that we don't allow these things to be unlocked too early with too little stake. Um, and the planets with the most stake are likely to be unlocked earliest. We're, we're going to start thinking about the levels and we're going to, we're watching it already now. We're watching how much each one has and how much is staked and, um, who's likely to be voting and the voting will be open up before the staking. Uh, before the unlocking rather so we'll see how much is being voted and what the kind of situation is and it's definitely something that we can't put an exact number on it we can't say oh if it's two hundred thousand voted then we'll unlock it yeah because it's going to have to be something which we decide ourselves that okay this planet is ready this planet is not ready yet so we may well unlock Havian and Magor way earlier than the other ones yeah um, naron or Neron or whatever we should call it and and Margar is pretty much the e equal in in stake at the moment they have about yeah 20%. i saw that come up the the Naron is a bit of a dark horse i'm not sure where I, i've seen in the um the discord channel that there's quite a lot of people who are promoting that planet so i think they're kind of they're forming some kind of like very loosely coupled group who are trying to take over that planet um, and yeah the, these are the planets that are obviously most likely to become unlocked first um, and then the other consideration is how far along the user interface to actually manage that planet is and 
whether we want to do any beta testing with one of the planets about you know what what are they likely to actually want to do with the control of this account because you control the account so you can technically do anything but we're thinking that most likely kind of actions are going to be transferring trillion that's like yeah the, mo moving it out and distributing it to stakeholders and, and those kind of things will that be something that you provide in the interface or will they have to build that themselves uh yeah we will provide there's uh so obviously transferring trillium from one account to another is going to be bread and butter sort of stuff distributing it to stakers is going to be something that we're, we're we've actually already built in we we'll have to test it at the moment um but yeah that should be relatively straightforward just a case of transferring it to a special account which then gets distributed amongst the uh the stakeholders in a in a kind of special DeFi style way it's not it won't exactly be sent directly but it kind of it it's rewarding people who stake proportionally um and then we we need to listen to the the planets and see what what they want to do and what kind of things they want to to be able to do with their newfound power um, <laughs> you know i mean like i said it's you literally own the the account world or kvn.world or whatever um so whatever you can do with the standard account in wax you can do with that account. so you could create other accounts you could you could buy some wax you yeah, can stake your we wax have a, we are discussing can... discussing a lot of fun things and i'm actually talking to a third party project on wax and seeing when we get the planet uh, we can potentially <laughs> give you daily trillium uh, to add to your game so we can add that game into the alien world metaverse as well uh, so that cool. is one yeah. so like we're taking the the pots and we will take a small portion because most from our perspective we want to give back to everyone that plays the game we want to help everyone have a fun fun time but if we take the small portion of that and add to another game so you can play another game in our trillium that is good for everyone so that is kind of like what we are actually looking at uh, to make happen. yeah and that's what we're doing you know we're just building that economic framework and base for you guys to go and have fun and do whatever, <laughs> whatever you whatever you think which is why you know it's hard for us to predict what's going to happen and it's been hard for us already to predict what has happened so you know i think for for the future we're, we're just we're not even going to bother trying to think about what people will do we're if people have what evil what ideas saying. what you can do is you can take over a planet the minute you have it you can stake all the tokens and vote for yourself and you get a stronger position uh that is a very evil I'll take thing. the planet's token exactly yeah, and yeah. vote for yourself with the planet <laughs> i mean you you could do that but you need to bear in mind also that there's a lot of large powers within this ecosystem yeah. you know the, the people who are large now are not necessarily the people who will be large in the future there's, and we have a comment uh, about that uh, he says that the, the those that will be buying trillium in the public sale will be so much bigger than everyone that is here mining right now so uh, what does that mean yeah so we're planning to have a public trillium sale very soon actually the, the timelines are incredibly short so we're we're looking to to sell trillium to the public um it will be on the ethereum blockchain so actually a lot of the people who take part in the sale will probably keep it on the ethereum blockchain for safekeeping and they probably will never transfer it into the game or they may well never transfer it into the game um but yeah, there's going to be quite a lot available in that sale. Um, and depending who buys and when and how many large holders there are, we, we could see a lot of large token holders coming into the game in the future, definitely. Um, it's not guaranteed and we don't know, but... Um, Do we have we any more information having... where we can read on that, the price for the, the token sale and... No, yeah, we're still actually still deciding a lot of these things. We're still trying to work out which platform we're going to run the sale on, um, how the sale is going to be run. It will be a regulated sale. It won't be just like a free for all uh, sale. So there will be KYC. There will be no sale to U.S. residents, etc. I have to, I have to stop there. Otherwise, the legal guys will kill me for saying yeah. something wrong. <laughs> um, yeah it's going to be a, a properly regulated sale 
Um, and we don't know prices yet. We don't know amounts yet. Um, we're just working out everything. We're working out lockup for team and that kind of thing. So um, all of us team members, we're going to be vested for quite some time. So we're not going to receive all of our tokens immediately. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of stuff to work out, but the, the timelines are very, very, very optimistic, I think. I think they're very short timelines and we're looking to move to the, the sale as soon as possible. Very, very cool. Uh... And we have a, will there not be a wax sale, he says, and I, I guess that's a no. And then if anyone watched the Lucas interview, you know that there will be a bridge for ERC20 tokens to Ethereum that will go live before Valentine's. And that is also very short. He said likely before February. So I, I push it to two weeks to, uh, to Valentine's. And I guess that's a good timeline. So we will have, a, if you have wax, yeah. you, can, you can soon, pretty easy, likely get it to ethereum uh, you can already do it by burning it and getting wax e and using the uniswap to for ethereum uh, but there will be a yeah so we have our own we've had our own for a while method of transferring between the two chains and it's likely to begin with we'll probably stick with that unless the wax team comes up with something very soon it would be not really in our best interest to wait for them i think it looks really cool and it's definitely something which would help projects maybe planets would want to send their planet token across to uh the ethereum chain um but for us it's probably going to come a little bit late so um, yeah. in terms of whether there'll be a wax sale um potentially yeah i can't say much more than that but the, the, it's obviously we're working on wax we we will um we will look at both sides of the chain and we will have um, some methods for Ethereum and some method for WAX as well, but it's not clear exactly what we will have just yet. Um, yeah, and, just, and just I can, I can hear that you are kind of careful with what you, the words you are choosing right now. So I guess you have a legal <laughs> team saying, do not speak about the, this in any wrong way or, yeah. Yeah, we have lists of things we can and cannot say and there's, there's a lot of, rules um but also just a, a lot of it isn't decided yet and i wouldn't want to say one thing and then it turn out that we change our mind and everybody says but you said it would be like this so yeah. uh, all i would say is just just stay in touch um we have a uh we have a mailing list on the website if you go and if you're not on telegram that often then just go and sign up for our mailing list and We'll definitely publish everything that happens through there as soon as we we are able. Yeah, very cool. Uh, boom, boom. What is Nebula events and quests? That's a very good question, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the Nebula event is a another one of the games which we're looking to bring in, which is going to be kind of. Uh, nebulous <laughs> um i i don't know the exact details of this but it's gonna kind of come in with the quests whereby we may say for example take a hundred green men and throw them in a volcano um and then there'll be prizes and everything for these kind of specific tasks so we're looking at making maybe a chain of tasks like shine up 10 golden uh, green men, throw them in a volcano and then give the proceeds to something else or whatever, you know, there's going to be these kind of like made up games of to do X, Y and Z because we realize that, you know, we have a lot of green men out there. We have a lot of humans out there. Yeah. So it, 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 it's going to be fun to kind of play the, the games. Those armies, with these armies are growing for sure. <laughs> Numbers are definitely growing. Um, so we have to do something with them, right? And it, it seems like the consensus is that we, we kill them and throw them into volcanoes. So, <laughs> um, I think that that's going to be a lot Human of sacrifices quests. is always uh, encouraged. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it makes the gods happy, right? So yeah. we, should, we should do it as much as possible. Um, yeah, these, these are kind of like slightly 
a lot of this stuff honestly is in Rob's head. So he's he's the guy who comes up with the uh, the game plans, and he's the guy who thinks about all the storylines and everything. So a lot of it's he's thinking about every single day, and he tells us little bits of them in the <laughs> meetings. Um, and so um, yeah, th- yeah, right I, now I, like there are ten thousand five hundred thirty nine great peacemakers. <laughs> I guess we don't yeah, like that's, peacemakers, that's so we peace. should burn. We should burn them, right? <laughs> <laughs> or get them to make some peace somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, definitely send them to Ma- Magor oh. and and make peace. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, so he, yeah, he's he's thinking a lot about these quests and things that we can do, and he's keeping an eye on the levels of everything and like. We're we're constantly looking at the game and we're seeing how many NFTs are coming out through mining and we're seeing what exists here and what exists there and like how much trillium and it, we're, 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 we're tweaking things. I don't know if you've noticed, but we do tweak the... I have noticed probably. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't do it for a while. We did a very small change. I think it was yesterday, which nobody actually noticed, but there was a very small change made yesterday. Um, we made bigger changes earlier on because yeah. like, there was lots of mythical items coming out and we didn't want so many mythicals. And, yeah. Um, just generally there was a lot coming out. so we had. Personally, to I got one mythical and two legendaries the first three days and I told you directly and this is too much. We shouldn't ha- it shouldn't be this easy because we have only run the game for a few days. So uh, I, as yeah. a player that want them, told ask them... Please make it harder because it will destroy the game long term. Yeah, I mean, as a player, you want to see mythicals come out all the time, but actually, you don't because exactly. that will ruin the game yeah. long term. So, so yeah, we're we're definitely keeping an eye on this during the beta, beta phase, and we're we're tweaking it down so that it's just better for the the entire economy and the entire ecosystem if we keep these things in check. Yeah, I, I mine a lot, and like the last week, I got one epic. Uh, that's the highest rarity I got, and I, I I mine a lot. I'm 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 at the computer all day, all, all <laughs> night, and and yeah. Uh, and we didn't actually make any changes in the last week. I saw a lot of people complaining that they're receiving less, but we didn't actually make any changes. So I don't know what happened there because the probabilities have stayed the same. Um, maybe you just got less lucky i don't know yeah like, like my land pack you know yesterday. how random numbers are <laughs> yeah that was terrible that was possibly the worst one i've ever seen yeah uh, for anyone um, watching i there is a screenshot in the alien world chat where i i bought a land pack o- o- and opened it and it was all gray all common items uh all yeah all items in it uh and that is but you fun. got a piece of land uh, so you're exactly an extra and land on their on the best planet so yeah. it's okay oh it was a good plan it was it yeah uh so that's good uh is there anything else that you want to share and let people know about that we haven't uh, covered um i think just to kind of let people know that we're coming out of beta very soon um we've already put the link onto our website so it's going to be play.alienworlds.io instead of beta.alienworlds.io um there's no actual real difference as far as anybody's concerned. The UI, there's a couple more changes that we're bringing in. One is to, it's mostly just to make the messages a little bit better. So at the moment, um, you'll get a message like build CPU, blah, 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 is greater than blah, 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 which means nothing to most yeah, non wax exactly. people. So, And you're talking about error messages. We're just messages. tweaking those things. Yeah, so most of the, like I said, most of the big bugs we fixed there are still some small annoyances there um but yeah we, we've decided to to move it from beta to official release um and we're going to start publicizing that on our channels we're going to start making posts about it we're going to talk about it in the amas um so yeah it's going to be exciting that we we kind of start to tell people a lot more about the game and start to promote it in various channels yeah uh i think i think uh, we have started to hear a small hammer from my place there is construction going on in (laughs) one of my neighbor's apartments pretty much all day every day i've been kind of lucky recording videos then it's been quite quiet but it's okay i think um 
so yeah, that's good. So when the game goes live, what kind of marketing can we expect? Do you think there will be more users coming? Do you think we have attracted the, the baseline users? What's your, what's the in, in team? Idea? I think we have a lot more to go. I think we have a really good PR team, which we brought on board just before the uh, land sale. I don't know if you noticed, but we had some pretty good marketing. We did a lot of AMAs. We We've got picked up by a lot of influencers. We we got put on to uh, Coin Coin Telegraph. Yeah, Coin we Telegraph. we had an article in Coin Telegraph. We didn't pay for that. We didn't even ask for that. They just approached us and said, "Oh, we see that you're doing cool stuff." Can yeah, an and article? for people, usually so, you have to pay more than one Bitcoin for an article in Coin Telegraph. Yeah, so unless they are we were, we in were really, doing. yeah, we were really really happy that they came. And uh, just just out of the blue, just wrote an article. So, um, yeah, so more of the same. Basically, we've got the team working on it and we're going to be doing all these AMAs. We're going to be pushing it hard. We're going to be pushing WAX. We're yeah. going to be pushing the game. Um, and, yeah, it, it's been going well so far. And I think just a lot more of the same. It's going to be very tiring. It's going to be a, a lot of work in the next couple of weeks. But... You know, we're we've got some big goals for the game, and we're gonna hopefully multiply these numbers by a, a significant amount. This is not uh, this is not our ceiling. Put it this way: this is our floor <laughs> at the moment. Um, so yeah. we'll we'll give everybody a little bit of time to kind of catch up and everything. But um, yeah, if if you're in on the beta now, you should you should be quite happy at the amount. Of Trillium you're getting per mine and everything it's all very high now and I think once we bring in a lot more players it's gonna drop a little bit but then we'll bring in the other games and we'll bring yeah. in a lot more people going. are complaining because they played the first day when there was uh, like a hundred <laughs> players and they got thousands of Trillium in one mine and now they say oh, we get nothing and I'm still like like no 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 we are still getting a lot of them there's still people mining 40 yeah. 50 60 90 Trillium from one big mine and that's not gonna happen yeah I mean first world problems eh? uh, yeah it's, it's, it's hard to be in the game so early and to to get so much but and yeah I, things are things are gonna even out over time definitely yeah, and uh, if you go to aw.anio.io and slash planets, you can see a graph of the current max mineable trillium. And right now, the highest pot that you can mine is is 80. And, and that number is rather high compared to the others. And this number is just going down, down, down. Um, yeah. I've that noticed graph is updated sort of every day. Yeah. Yeah, the, the pots have been a lot lower. Like, they're, they're barely crossing 100 like i see valleys is going up to 90 it's about to cross 100 um i have much more up-to-date stats than you by the way yeah i, I update every se every 10 seconds only <laughs> i i have real-time stats here so valleys has just crossed 100 yeah um but yeah they're, they're a lot lower but if you i think we're going to start to see people maybe keeping an eye on these things and trying to time their minds on a specific planet for a specific time because like yesterday I saw one of the pots went as low as like 20 or even lower um, so even if you have a big tool you, you're going to hit a pot that's 20 you're not going to get very much whereas yeah. if it's 120 which at least is now you're still going to get a decent amount so the timing is very important we've always told people this we always said like it's really important the time that you mine um, but I think now it's kind of starting to sink in because before it was important, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that important. You're still getting a decent chunk regardless. Um, but now it's it's quite, oh, now we're on, it's, Kavian is at eight. Yeah. But Kavian picks up quickly because it has exactly. a lot of staking. So, yeah, I mean, um, Veles gets over less than one trillion per second and, and Kavian gets almost, to 2.8 or 2.75 so that that is yeah really nice um, so Kevin's already back to 40 now so yeah and all these numbers are very nerdy very fun to track there are graphs available there are people building tools for this and the tools a lot of them is just thrown together and, and out there so we have something and they will improve as we go uh, i'm sure that all of the tools will improve um 
which yeah, is everything's fun. quite rudimentary now, but people are learning, and it's it's cool. They're going to get better. I think. Yeah, like like all everything that I built on aw.anio, I I didn't know anything of this bef when I started, and I learned every step. I never automated any data collecting and put it on a website and anything. That's all new for me. Uh, you learned so, Python for this, I believe. Yeah, like I I I used Python a bit, but. Yeah, I, I learned a lot now and each thing I do is better and I have a lot of data that is hidden that I use for myself and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's all Special. fun. Special <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, it, it, okay, so is there anything else that, that you want to share with everyone about Alien Worlds? No, I think that's it. Just um, pay attention, I think everybody, I think is the... The key you know we're going to be taking everything in steps like the shining the landholder allocations the things and we're going to try to keep everything on this regular cadence of updates and new stuff and not too much at once but like little steps and then we can actually get to the goal quite easily i think I'm, we just got I'm one confident. good question we yeah. have known about a legendary pack sale do we have any date oh, yeah. any idea there um, we've decided to put the pack sales on the back burner for now. We're not going to have, we, we don't have any plans to have the pack sale. We're thinking like probably around March, we're going to start to maybe have another pack sale. Um, we have these artifacts, which I think some people have seen as like the, the other thing which we haven't released yeah. yet. So we have tools, minions, etc. There's artifacts which will be used for healing and regeneration of weapons and those kind of things. So um, that's definitely something we will have in a pack sale at some point. So we just need to kind of rethink a little bit because we looked at the legendary packs and originally they were going to include one guaranteed legendary. Um, but then we realized that actually if we released thousands of legendary packs, we're going to swamp the market with legendary items and it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin that sector of the economy. So um, we, 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 we're not going to release any packs at the moment. There's, there's probably not much need at the moment. Um, it might be in the future when we have more new players and, and people that wasn't yeah, here for we, the first Yeah, if we bring in a lot more players and we have these demands for extra items, we will definitely bring in a, another pack sale. But at the moment, it's it's not something which is on our immediate radar. Yeah, we, we want to be careful with the economy. We don't want to flood it constantly with new NFTs. You know, we don't want to... More, more than we what could, is mine. <laughs> Yeah, the, the mining is probably the pack opening at the moment. You know, yeah. that's that's the way to open packs is to, to keep mining. Um, but yeah, we don't want to flood the market with any one particular type of NFT or um, overload it. We would rather keep the NFTs low. Like the abundance, we don't care. The abundance, <laughs> they're literally abundant. There's there's thousands of them. Um, but everything else we want, we want to kind of keep an eye on and keep a lid on and we'll we'll make decisions as time happens and it may be that next week we decide oh we actually have to have a pack sale and we'll we'll prepare for that but at the moment there's no there's no plans to to have a pack sale yeah very nice uh and in the chat in the description uh well, in, in the description under the video, you can find links to Discord, you find links to alienworlds.io, you find links to the Telegram chat, to the Medium page, uh, and everything. Yeah. And I guess we should catch up before the public sale again. We should, uh, we might actually need to do something when the shining has started and everything, and that's pretty soon. So, and that's good. Yeah. Do you have in mind what you're going to shine up? What's, uh, what's your... Don't tell us, but do you know? Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> you have something in mind. Yeah, uh, I yeah I, I have a few ideas. I mean, if anyone goes to K, I, I will write it Quaxu. Then then you will see that I have a lot of items. And if you go to the more rare items, you can see what I collect the many of, and you will figure it out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see the rush to to kind of shine up. And see uh, if anybody tries to take your stuff before. I yeah, know you're pretty quick exactly. on the, the draw, so <laughs> you, you, 
Yeah, but like this time you also need to have the trillium and you need to think, okay, I can't shine everything perhaps. Where should I start and then move down the line? Uh, I probably need to put out a bigger plan, but I will do that probably 10 minutes before the shining starts or something. <laughs> yeah, so everybody needs to start thinking now. I'm going to start thinking now. And I was, I was originally going to shine up some legendary weapons and then Rob said, but you know, weapons are not included in this one, so... Um, I have so, to go yeah, back and one, one more time for the shining. What is included? What what can people start with? Uh, so you start with four of the base items, which are the the ones which are out now. Um, you take those. You take some trillium. Uh, you go to our website. It's pretty similar to all of the other upgrade sites you've seen, where you just choose uh, which cards you want to upgrade. They are burnt and your trillium is burned as well and then one new card is issued to you which is of the, the higher shine level and there is tools and avatars that you can do right now well in you know ten tools days. definitely <laughs> and i believe avatars but i'll have to yeah rob rob, uh, rob just wrote in chat and i guess uh, unless it's a fake oh, okay. rob it's rob Good. and he wrote to tools and avatars um tools and avatars yeah yeah, so those two things you want to kind of start thinking, what do you have four of? Maybe if you have three, you need to go and steal yeah. another one. From one one of my main ideas was to upgrade minions, and then that is uh, killed right now. <laughs> but I also have yeah. uh, ideas to do it with tools, so, so that uh, is still on track. Yeah, I mean, the dream is not dead. You can still dream of when you can upgrade your minions, but it just won't be immediately. Uh, that's there's good. A, I, I can spread it out. Work. You know, there's there's a hell of a lot of work going into producing all of these uh, images and everything, and we have to double check them and triple check them. You know, we're very very conscious that we don't want to make errors on our cards because the errors are forever. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, some of the releases came out with errors everywhere. Like I think Shatner had Shatner had at least five or six error yeah. cards, which were blatant, like you know, very obvious. So we tried to avoid that. There's there's two errors that I know of which have slipped through the net, but we, we definitely want to keep those uh, as low as possible. Yeah. So Very good. So the tools that are already rare will be even more rare, um, likely, if people start to share yeah. them. <laughs> I'm just getting into <laughs> are you Are you done? No. Uh, no. But that's good. Let's uh, let's be nice to to your to the, whoever got into that door and uh, give you back <laughs> to them, uh, <laughs> and we will give uh, the rest of the day back to everyone else that is here watching right now. Uh, there will be more updates. We will do uh, reoccurring updates on Alien Worlds on this channel, both because I love it and well, I spend a lot of time doing things here, and it all makes sense. It's the most exciting project right now. Uh, so and there's going to be a lot of updates as well. We're, we're hoping to constantly fill you with news. So. That is uh, something we all can look forward to. And if anyone want to know more, just tag me, whatever, in the Alien World chat, and I will, uh, I will also see that. Like, at Orcus is, is how you can find me. It's also a link below. So you, you yeah, and we're all, all of the team are all around in uh, Discord and uh, Telegram as well. So just come and ask questions there. It's cool. Yeah, perfect. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for sharing. And thanks everyone for watching and tuning in for this. Cool. Peace. Thank you.